Jackson, thank you so much for the direct support, mate. Jackson has a Gigabyte B650 Gaming X um, AXB2 and a 7800X uh, 3D. Do you think it would be okay to put a Ryzen 9 on this board in the future when new Ryzen chips come out? Well. Let me actually go look it up and not guess. Because buy Windows 10 Professional for $15, activate instantly online with Microsoft, and keep it forever. Don't pay full price. Get the best deal from our sponsor, URCD Keys, using our link in the video description below. Full details on how this amazing deal works at the end of the video. I Let's have a look. haven't seen that board. A B650 Gaming X. The AX means um, full. 7,000, 8,000. So this is a 8 plus 2 plus 2 phase power for RAMs, 3 M.2 slots. 2.5 gig LAN. That's a big one. It's not bad. The power delivery is okay. A bit thin. Uh, it's probably fine if you... Don't plan on putting the 32 cores N6 when they come out. That's that's probably going to want a new motherboard. This is definitely what you call a budget motherboard. And I, and, and it's my biggest gripe is the power delivery. Eight, it's really an eight-phase power delivery because these these are the extra components. It's Versus 16. You know, I, you, don't not, you don't need 16, 14, 12... CPUs are more demanding, and they re they can require burst power. The whole point of a really good power delivery solution is that the, the onboard power delivers highly stable power under highly variable loads. He's got an eight-core chip right now. There's only so much power each of those cores will draw. If he goes with a 16 or one of the future... Now, Zen 5 won't have 32 cores, but my understanding is Zen, Zen 6, 6 will. will. Probably 16 full-fat cores and 16 C cores. 32? Um, two years, Intel's going to have 40. What's your point? I mean, yep. it, they have to increase the core count at some point because once Intel passes 40 and 50, they're going to look really silly with 8. Yep. So what happens with the higher core count chips is for a lot of use, your power is low. And then you do something where your computer momentarily needs power and it throws lots of cores at it and your power use spikes and then it drops. The spike is bigger if you have uh, transient demand. Mm -hmm. So you want onboard, because what's happening is the onboard voltage regulators and power yeah, capacitors got more to regulate. are taking, they store more power and they can throw it at the CPU rapidly. Now, that does not mean that a higher core count chip will not work on the cheap boards. But it may not boost to such a high clock speed. In other words, it will not perform as well. More cooling? Uh, it's not cooling so much as it, it's, um, it'll either be unstable mm -hmm. or it simply won't turbo. There you go. The board will slow the clock speed ramp, the BIOS. Yeah. The manufacturer will test it and go, for the board with the 16 phase power, we can let the transients, we can let it go straight to six gigahertz at yeah. full power anytime without yeah. complaint. But the eight phase board may have to do more of a power ramp. And so what you'll feel is your system will be more sluggish even if the benchmarks say otherwise. Yeah. Because benchmarks run continuous load. Yes, they do. Ryzen 7. 5700G should not care about your motherboard. No, 5700G. I had it installed at my front desk on an El Cheapo B350 motherboard with craptastic power delivery. It was a $59 motherboard. Yep. Benchmark said it was fine. Cinebench, CPU-Z, all of that said it was fine. Mm -hmm. But when you were using the computer and opening web browsers and rendering pages, you know, because there's a lot of CPU used when you're rendering a web page. It was a bit painful. It, felt sluggish. I replaced that motherboard with a very nice Gigabyte Aorus Pro X570 with excellent power delivery. Yep. And, and the thing is now a beast. And you go, well, come on, that can't possibly matter. Mm. They benchmarked the same. Mm -hmm. 
but they don't feel the same. Mm -hmm. And I have now experienced that too many times. Um, I did put a uh, 5900X on my original X670, um, X excuse me, X670, X370, X370 Asus Crosshair Hero 6 motherboard. That was a $270 motherboard back in the day. I do remember. How many phases of power do you think an X370 Crosshair Hero 6 has? Eight. Six. Would be seven. Six or eight. Seven. Eight. It has... I have to look it up because I don't remember. Um, I remember it's crappy. It was... Looking, thinking. <laughs> Asus doesn't have another website anymore. Uh, four? I want to say it was six. Six? Well, it wasn't too far off there. Power delivery. It has... Really? No, it doesn't. Does it? Maybe I'm thinking, oh no, I was thinking of the X370, the, um, We've only had a few. the MSI X Power Titanium. That's what I was thinking of. All right, type that in there. That was the board that uh, AMD sent me for the launch reviews. Oh, I yes. bought this board on its own. It's been, holy crap, it's been seven years. Yeah. I think it was the eight phase. Eight phase. The X Power Titanium had eight phase. That was a three hundred dollar motherboard with eight phase power. Seven years ago. That's why I don't use that board. I replaced that board with the Crosshair Hero because it was a better board. Mm. I had my wires crossed. Oh. You've slept since then. Right. Oh, hang on a second. It's not. Oh, it's a split. It's actually a six-phase power delivery. Oh, that's sneaky. Six being dedicated to the CPU and four, oh, the MOSFET for the system on a chip. But it's not four. It's two. Because it doubles. Doubled. Ha! There you go. That board has so, absolutely yeah, craptastic board. Yeah, you didn't like that board at all. Sorry. He, he grumbled. I remember him grumbling about that board. So to come back to this, people go, well, how come you hate on these boards? Well, you know, you don't need more than this for your current chip, but... If you want to put more, then it's either going to work or it ain't. Depends what demand you put on it. Looking for a Windows 10 or 11 product key, but you don't want to spend $100 to $200 for it? Our sponsor, URCD Keys, provides discounted Windows keys at amazing prices. $15 for Windows 10 Professional, $21 for Windows 11 Professional, and just $60 for Microsoft Office 2021 Professional Plus. These product keys are the real deal. They activate directly with Microsoft Online, link to your Microsoft account, and they work forever. For Windows, you simply go to Settings, Update and Security, Activation, click Change Product Key, paste the key provided by URCD Keys, and in seconds, you're activated with Microsoft. For Office, go to setup.office.com, sign in with your Microsoft account, paste the product key provided by URCD Keys, and then download Office 2021 Pro Plus directly from Microsoft. Remember to use the discount code TD20 to save 25% off the already deeply discounted prices and support our channel at the same time. We have been using product keys from URCD Keys for almost five years now without any issues and encourage you to do so as well.